Hello and welcome to our devotion for Tuesday, September 1st. Joining me today is today is Pastor Janet Wollum, who you're a retired UCC pastor and an ELCA pastor, so you're like the whole package. That's awesome. And currently, you are the facilitator for the Synod's Creation Care Team, and um, you'll be hearing from her on Thursday with her devotion, which is going to be very creation-based, and I look forward to that. But today, uh, my theme is Precious Humans, and I'm going to ask Pastor Janet to go ahead and read the text. The text is from Hebrews <clears throat> chapter 2, verses 11 through 16. For the one who sanctifies and those who are sanctified all have one Father. For this reason, Jesus is not ashamed to call them brothers and sisters, saying, I will proclaim your name to my brothers and sisters, and in the midst of the congregation, I will praise you. And again, I will put my trust in him. And again, here I am and the children whom God has given me. Since, therefore, the children share flesh and blood, he himself likewise shared the same things, so that through death he might destroy the one who has the power of death, that is the devil, and free those who all their lives were held in slavery by the fear of death. For it is clear that he did not come to help angels, but the descendants of Abraham. Thank you, Janet. I don't know about you, but I am tired of all the news, the political ads, and everything else that focuses solely on the worst and the negative parts of our world and its people. Human beings are often spoken about as being wicked and broken and sinful, who have strayed far from the Garden of Eden that we read about in Genesis, and they have been destroying creation's gifts. And while people are capable of doing bad things to themselves and to each other, it only tells part of our human story. For people, we also know, have the ability to care deeply for one another and for all of God's creation, including the earth. Our reading from Hebrews speaks of our shared heritage with Jesus. We share connection with God as parent. For God claimed Jesus and us as God's children, and we are all Jesus' sisters and brothers. We are, in fact, his siblings through him. And we share not only this divine connection, but also an earthly one. Remember that Jesus was fully human, just like we are. And think about it. God could have come to us in any shape or form or matter for that matter. But God chose to come to us as flesh and blood, as human beings just like us. So because of our shared humanity with Jesus, we are precious in God's sight. Our humanness is not something that we should despise or hate, but we are precious in God's sight and God loves us greatly. So we are to honor this precious humanity in everyone around us, no matter what the color of their skin is, who they are, who they love, or where they may, may be from, and whether they're our family, our friends, or even our enemies, we all share a common humanity. Janet, would you lead us in prayer? Faithful God, you come to us in human form to redeem us and to help us see you as you see us, holy, beloved, and good. Help us to see your holiness in each other. Help us to honor creation and care for all your beloved children. Help us to be the good people you created us to be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And now may God bless you today and always. Amen.